big match we've got here in store for us. Cyril and Bia. Oh! <laughs> In the top left side of the map, Basilisk's absolutely amazing pickup. The Zerg player, this is Cero. Down here in the bottom right, representing the Shopify Rebellion with the blue SCVs, make some noise for Bjorn. Honestly, this should be an amazing series. You've got to do damage. Against Serral, it's about your efficiency. And that's why Beyond goes into the main here. He's going to look to get some damage and then get on out of there. I like this play by Beyond, but he didn't mm -hmm. stim all the Marines. He's got to be careful. Yeah, the Queens are not all here. Okay, he's going to be forced to pick up and get on out of there, but at least he got a couple of workers. Look at that one Marine <laughs> just scouting <laughs> on the perimeter of the Zerg's main base. Beyond is trying to roam this map, right? He's trying to do what he does best, but Serral is nothing giving him a whole lot of space. Every time he kills like three creep tumors, the next time he comes in that area of the map, a dozen more suddenly appear. Now he gets a full wraparound, Serral that is, as he's ready to blow up that army, but luckily the Medivex pick up and grab some of that bio army. Now on the back of this though, Bjorn has been happily expanding, right? His economy is looking really nice, he's going into 3-3. He's continuously fighting, but it's not necessarily costing him the game. He's not stuck on just, you know, say three command centers here. He's continuously progressing. Oh my lord, there's a lot of Banelings coming forward. The Marines are behind the Marauders, though. Those Marauders mm -hmm. are making it so hard for Serral to engage. He tries to flank the army, but the Reinforce does distract him for a while. Serral now considering giving up ground on this base. Bjorn just picks up and moves into the main, though. He's going to keep on working. Working this angle, but Lings have found their way into the fourth base. Beyond's got to watch out for those Banelings. Okay, Banelings trying to uh, connect with whatever they can. Big drop in the main. This is honestly really scary. Whoa. The Banelings and the Zerklings here are running quite late into the main, but eventually they do manage to push this back. He's gonna, well, rotate immediately on down towards this fourth base of the Zerk player. Oh man, these trades are so messy. It's a pace that Serral can't really keep up with. Mm -hmm. They're using the high ground and the low ground. Serral's out of lava right now and he cannot spend his bank, but he has just barely enough links for a surround. Beyond stutter stepping like that, save some units in the deep red medivax. 15 SCVs went down behind it. Even though those trades were really good for Beyond overall, he lost a lot of SCVs and Serral has been mining a bit more money than him. Beyond wants to keep the momentum going, but the Massling Hydra is holding on. Yeah, they call him Micro Jackson for for a reason, just impeccable control, trying his best to obtain the victory just by out controlling and outpacing the opponent. Oh, <laughs> some big widow yeah. noise on that ramp. Oh, I feel like Serral needs to explode more into the backstabs right now. He's now once again venturing a little bit out onto the map. He sees the Terran army. He's like, nope, I'm gonna go back. But it's also because of his Medivac drop that it's just relentless, right? It goes back into the main base. I wouldn't mind seeing a couple spores right there on the ridge, right? Like just on the yeah. edge of the main would have been really sweet. Most of the players would have done that by now. Serral says, no, I'm gonna use mobile units. I've, I've got my faith in it. A wall of Hydra's coming forward. They don't have any range upgrades yet. They don't do that much. The Marauder Widow Mine is very oh. costly for Bailings to engage into. And if the Marines manage to get on top of the Hydra's, they will smash. But more Banelings are about to finish morphing. Beyond wisely backs off creep. Okay, matter of fact, drop over here. It gets cleaned up as the Marines just try to gun down as many of those Queens as they can. Okay, that's a decent detonation right there for our Terran player, but he's losing a little bit of steam right now. He's going into a Ghost transition and more commands and is his Beyond. I don't know if the Ghost is the best idea against Terran. Oh, a full Medivac got snapped on the way out. Hydras and Banes are pretty good against that particular unit composition in, uh, yeah, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to sit oh, around on that uh, lower tech army for at least a while longer. Oh, he got almost all the Widow Mines before they fired. The one that fired didn't get a big hit off. The Banelings getting in towards those Marauders. Parasitic Bomb, the Medivax, amazing trades for several. He's just got to be careful not to chase too far. You don't want to lose the Hydralisks. Nidus Worm allowing Zerglings to potentially open a new front as well. Lings on the right, and that Planetary getting exposed. Oh, Beyond's economy in the open. Planetary wow. gets sniped. Luckily, only loses five SCVs. That could have been a lot worse. If he lost 20, 30 SCVs oh, as well. Oh, the ghosts. The ghosts. The ghosts are way too far forward. He picks up two of them, but a Metavec goes down because of it as well. These are the mistakes you really can't afford. Feels like Serral's dancing around him right now. Zergling's burrowed on that fourth base Dancing well. around Micro Jackson himself? That's right, mate. You can try and moonwalk. <laughs> Serral will burrow underneath you, pop up behind you, and snap your neck.
He's he's he, he's been doing this for years, mate. The 2018 and reigning 2022 world champion, Serral, an absolute monster here. Beyond's coming in with a big spready of units, though, but so much Baneling Hydra. Seems like Serral with the next wave should be able to push it back. Ling run by getting 10 SCBs on the fourth base. Beyond's economy is hurting. It feels like Beyond's getting more and more urgency behind his aggression. He feels he needs to hurt Serral here. Yeah, he's also setting himself up. Serral, that is for a knight as network inside of the opponent's main base, as we saw. Oh! Over two that oh, right the shoot. snipes! So, yeah, they are amazing. Oh, the, look wow. at the supply count, though. It's been plummeting for a while. You brought up the comment centers. They have been nice and all, but they haven't really kicked in yet. No, I don't even know if he has the money to morph orbitals. Oh. Yeah, you need those mules dropping. You don't have money to morph orbitals. He's finding it now, but Serral has so much supply. And this has simply been a battle of the micro in the engagements. Beyond has taken away, uh, sorry, Serral has taken away Beyond's ability to surprise him. Mm -hmm. You know, to catch him off guard with any of these pushes and he's just dealt with everything so cleanly. Now there's also a couple infestors in the mix. I don't think that Bjorn is aware of those yet. One fungal growth at this point can change this entire game. It can pretty much oh! end it as he's trying to go for the fungal growth. He oh! comes in with the chain fungal. That is going to shut down that army and with it, the game. Saril looking absolutely dominant in game number one.